hello so this is another task that i have designed practice task which is based on the concept of pivot point i have named it as 12 monkeys so the basic idea is to place these 12 monkeys accurately around or on top of this particular sphere and then there are these two clock minutes and seconds and that is what is the idea so as usual now i will put it in the quad mode for your understanding fine so this is the top view this is the perspective view you can see and this is the front view and one of the side views so you can pause the video over here and try this out if you are unable to do or you want to see how i did it then you can play and continue fine so pause the video now okay so let us see how we can make this on the basis of the concept of pivot point that is to be used so i will start with a new one here first of all let's delete this add a mesh that is cylinder from my side view i will scale it on z axis to be very thin fine now come to the top view and in the top view we will scale it let's say five times control a let's apply the scale to this now the point is either we can put the hands so let's put, we can put the hands or we can put the monkeys so let's start with the monkeys let's add the mesh monkey now this monkey is quite big so let us scale this monkey to half the size that is 0.5 let's grab it on z axis and place it just on top of our this thing i think this while scaling this size has increased scale on z make it thin again grab this on z and let's place control a apply scale apply scale let's go to the top view now now i will grab this monkey and roughly place it over here okay let's grab it specifically on y axis and place it somewhere here okay now i need these 12 monkeys this is a 360 degree angle fine and you know in a clock every hour is represented by one so i have this now if i create a copy of this control c control v grab and try to place it and then rotate it on z and set it it's going to be difficult so here this is where we will use the concept of our pivot point so if i change my pivot point to the center and rotate the monkey it will rotate rotate it on z axis rather it will rotate properly like this okay so i will uh, do is duplicate the monkey with shift d and then i will say rotate on z axis by 30 degrees so if you divide 360 by 12 you will get 30 so here first of all let us change the pivot point as you can see my 3d cursor is already on the center if it is not you can press shift c to make sure that the 3d cursor is in the center okay now let's change the pivot point to 3d cursor so whatever rotation now will take place will be with respect to the 3d cursor over here which is in the center so let's do shift d now interesting thing about duplication is that object is immediately selected so uh, without doing anything i will press r for rotation now you can see that my rotation is based on pivot point which is 3d cursor rotate on z axis by 30 degrees so now it has rotated here by 30 degrees and i have pressed enter this is done now rather than repeating this whole process again i will simply do a shift r because i did not pre press enter in between the whole sequence is now recorded that's the advantage with duplication rather than copying so i will press shift r and the same process will be repeated from the latest object so here this way i can very fast set the monkeys so my monkeys are set okay 
the 12 monkeys are here now we need the needles so let's add a mesh which is cube fine so let's scale the cube on z axis first make it very thin grab it on z again and let's place it here let's go to the top view and let's scale it on x now and let us make it very thin now again what i'm going to do is i will duplicate this grab on z and take it upstairs a bit now you know that one of the things has to be bigger so scale this on y so that only on y right one is lengthier and scale this again on y for the hour set let's go to the top view now and this one i will grab on y and move it a bit further here fine grab sorry grab on y okay now the usual whenever we show the clock face we usually keep it on this now interestingly uh my objects will rotate from this and uh, they are not exactly on the center they here so i will just grab them on y and take them a bit upstairs right here so this is the pivot point so now if i rotate this guy on z by 60 degrees it will point to 10 and rotate this on z by minus 60 it will point this so now with this pivot point concept i am able to create rotations based on a different point changing the pivot and i have easily achieved this which would have been difficult in a regular scenario by rotating these monkey faces okay so that's it that is one of the uses of pivot point make sure you set back your pivot point to the individual's origin which is the default and keep your settings